Hundreds of years ago there lived a poor orphan boy called Dick Whittington. His only possession was his cat, but everyone in his village looked after him, so he never wanted for a meal or clothes on his back. In return, he worked hard wherever he was needed. Now Dick's greatest dream was to visit the great city of London where, he had heard, the streets were paved with gold. One day, a wagoner pulled into the village to give his two great shire horses a drink. Dick offered to rub the horses down, and before long he was telling the wagoner all about his dreams of visiting London town. Well, you must be in luck today, smiled the wagoner, for that is where I am bound. Why don't you come with me and I will drop you off back here again when I return tomorrow. This was too good an offer to refuse, so Dick and his cat waved goodbye to the villagers and set off with the wagoner for London. When they arrived, Dick looked round about in astonishment. Never before had he seen such huge buildings, all crowded so closely together, and there were so many people. Dick set off to explore, promising the wagoner he would be back in the evening. The pavements certainly did not appear to be made of gold, but he kept on thinking he should just try round the next corner, and then the next and, before long, Dick realized that he was hopelessly lost. He stumbled into a doorway, and worn out with hunger and worry at not keeping his promise to help the wagoner, he fell fast asleep. Now as luck would have it, Dick had chosen a very good doorway to sleep in. The house belonged to a rich merchant, Mr. Fitzwarren, who was kind and willing to help anyone in need. So when he came home later that evening, Mr. Fitzwarren took Dick and his cat indoors and told the cook to give him supper. The cook was very grumpy at having to prepare a meal late at night for Dick who, she thought, looked like a Ragamuffin. The next morning, Dick told Mr. Fitzwarren the whole story. Smiling, Mr. Fitzwarren told Dick that, as he had found, the streets of London were not paved with gold, and indeed life there was hard. But you look like a strong boy, would you like to work for me, Dick? He asked. You will have a roof over your head and a good dinner every day in return for helping in the kitchen and the stables. Dick was delighted, and soon settled into the household. He worked hard, and everyone liked him, except the cook. She gave him all the horrible jobs in the kitchen and would not let him have a moment's rest. But she didn't dare defy her master so Dick had a good dinner every day. Whenever one of Mr. Fitzwarren's ships went to sea, it was custom for everyone in the household to give something to the ship's cargo for luck. Dick had only his cat. He sadly handed her over. The ship was at sea for many months before they came to port in China. The captain and crew went ashore to show the emperor their cargo. The emperor had known the captain for years and they were old friends so they sat down to a banquet before discussing business. But to the emperor's embarrassment, the meal was ruined by the rats that ran everywhere, even over the plates they were eating off. The emperor explained that they had tried everything but nothing could rid the court of the plague of rats. The captain smiled. I think I have the answer, he said and he sent for Dick's cat. Within moments of her arrival, there were piles of dead rats at the emperor's feet. He was so impressed that he gave the captain a ship full of gold just for the cat. Back in London, Dick's life was a misery. The cook was nastier than ever and he didn't even have his beloved cat for company, so one day he ran away, intending to walk home to his village. But he had not gone far before he heard the bells ringing. And they seemed to say, turn again Dick Whittington, thrice Lord Mayor of London. Dick didn't know what the bells meant, but he remembered how. 
kind Mr. Fitzwarren had been. So he turned round again and went back before the cook had even noticed that he was missing. Of course when the ships came home, Mr. Fitzwarren gave Dick his fair share and more. This was the start of Dick's prosperity, and he even married Mr. Fitzwarren's daughter, Jane. He did become Lord Mayor of London three times, but he never forgot his early days of poverty and he founded schools and hospitals for the poor. He and Jane had many children, and there were always lots of cats in their great house as well. May your dreams be filled with moonlit wonders and limitless imagination.